Hello, this is Adam with uh, Tech Dive AV Club. Today we're going to be talking about Movie Studio 16 Platinum and how to uh, fix uh, a lot of background noise in your audio. So I have a prime candidate right here. I'm going to let you listen to it for a minute. Did something small that would fit inside of the cubby hole on my computer desk. So it's definitely it's not the best audio. Here's some quiet noise. I'm going to be using that PS2. Hear that? I'm not talking or anything. You just hear. Good. That's called your background noise or your ground floor, and I want to show you something. So if I enable this track for recording, more about that in another tutorial, uh, then see my mic right here? This is my ground floor. See how high it is? This is my computer noises and stuff in the background. This is just raw noise that's going to tag along with my audio. That is not the noise I want to get. Let me show you how I fix that for... for uh, Movie Studio, so um, not not for Movie Studios. For these tutorials, I'm using OBS to screen capture and uh, check this out. Now I'm going to stop talking and watch my mic levels right here. This is my mic levels. Watch them. They come down to nothing. So uh, the reason it does that is because I have the volume turned halfway down. This is the kind of the magic point where I get the most loudness to the least room noise, I, I think, for my microphone. I use a blue, snoo blue snowball microphone. And I think this, this turns out quite well. So this, is, this is, would be the first thing you do to get rid of background noise, is actually just turn down your input volume until you get that perfect combination of the least room noise to the most uh, mic loudness, because it's a really a ratio. Now, that's not always going to happen or always going to be ideal. And in this case, I ended up using my camera audio. So now we're going to talk about how to fix it uh, once it's already happened. Once you're in post-production and you got you got to fix that audio. First, I'm going to delete this track here. Now, um, the first thing we're going to do is mess with the track compressor. So uh, we're going to go over here to this track. So this is going to affect everything on the track here. And hit track effect and we're going to go to the track compressor. So don't worry about noise gate, don't worry about track EQ, don't, we're going to go to the track compressor. Now, um, in, in, as I was saying in my Vegas Pro version of this tutorial, I, I want you to know that this is not, um, I'm not an audio, major audio guy. I have, Yes, I've had classes in audio, yes, I've been doing audio stuff I've recorded and things like that. I, I've, I've got some experience with audio that you need for video. Uh, but there are just there's just so much more that the audio nerds know the people who who forget the video and go straight to audio but audio is in fact half of video and you're gonna have to learn some and one thing you need to know is a compressor uh, will help you get your audio where you need it to be so I need my voice and cable so that's something to know because my graphics See my levels over here I need my voice right between 6 and 15 that actually card is going to cover these that's pretty that's typical nice. six and nine is the ideal six and twelve six and nine that's kind of where you're shooting for your voice to be the compressor helps make sure that your voice hangs there and it can also do things like help get rid of some of the ground floor while your voice is hanging there so uh don't pretend you're an audio expert and kind of come out of nowhere with this pick one. Uh, I like the 151 compression for this kind of background noise, but you're going to have to kind of experiment to see which one's going to help you the most. The 151 compression. Plug in here without a ribbon cable. So that's something It definitely helps already. Listen, listen to that with it versus without. Plug in here without a ribbon cable. Now we're going to take it away. Plug in here without a ribbon cable. It definitely it definitely clears up my voice a little bit and gets rid of some of the background noise. It is not enough though. The next thing we need to do is really dry up the audio by removing the input gain. Now this is going to help us get rid of the ground floor because it's going to reduce the input retrospectively and then only take up the output after the ground floor is almost unhearable. So we're going to make it the ground floor almost unhearable and then the output gain louder. Let's see how this works. Um, I won't have a lot of Do you hear how much clearer that is? Listen. Of plug in here without a ribbon cable, so that's something to know because my graphics card is going to cover. That you. background noise is almost gone, but one of the reasons it's almost gone is because it's also super quiet. So we're, first, we're going to turn this up even louder here. A ribbon cable, so that's something to know because my graphics card is going to cover these. That's pretty typical for a micro ATX build. 
I try and do this combo here. Won't have a lot of plug in here without a ribbon cable, so that's something to note because my graphics card is going to cover these. That's pretty typical. Now, there we go. It's a lot better. It's a lot drier, but it's still not really loud enough. I'm trying to get it between 6 and 12, so that way, once I get it on YouTube, people aren't having to max out their speakers just to barely tell what I'm saying. Like, I really, really want to hit that 6 to 12 marker, or at least get closer to it. Uh, you might not always hit that, but you need to get close to it with your audio. Otherwise, people really just aren't going to hear uh, what you're saying. Uh, I'm not looking to win the giant computer award with this particular build, but I am looking to get something functional. <coughs> Sorry about that. So um, the next step is to actually go to the audio volume down here. So all that would fit inside of the cubby hole. This is computer. the volume right here on the track, and we're going to increase the volume. Your desk, uh, but still yet powerful. Uh, I'm not looking to win the giant computer award with this particular build, but I am looking to get something fun. Much much better. So much better. Of plug in here without a ribbon cable so that's something to note because my graphics card is going to cover these that's pretty typical for a micro now you, the audio is still still got that background noise writing in it so I can try and get a little more extreme now when it pops like that let me I will just hit play randomly or and it pops really high that's called popping or um, it's peaking and uh, when it peaks uh, when it turns red up here that's bad but that's not um, if it only does it for a split second when you press play, that's because Vegas is squelching your stuff a little bit after you hit play, just like a microsecond after you hit play. So your effects aren't immediately taking place. Small, that would fit. So it makes it like give this extra loud pop. That's not going to be there because you'll notice that's only when you press play in whatever part of the video it is. So it's not going to be there in a the final render. Don't worry about it. Just don't hurt your ears while you're dealing with it. So uh, next, you're going to want to go to track effects. Again, I want to look at this one more time. I'm going to try and reduce the input gain just a little bit more. But still yet powerful. Uh, I'm not looking to win the giant computer award with this. So uh, th I think that definitely helps reduce the background noise. But yeah. you can still hear it clicking. But like I said, this is, this is just helping reduce it and fix it and make it less apparent. Uh, I can also reduce the gain a little bit here. This is the gain slider. It'll reduce the gain just a little bit. And that'll also help reduce gain is different than volume by the way and that'll help reduce the background noise as well plug in here without a ribbon cable and then another thing I can do is to make it a little bit louder I can go to my master volume and increase the volume there this particular build but I am looking to get something functional um, I won't have a lot of plug in here without a ribbon cable so that's something so that's a lot drier more effective audio than when we started with uh, I also have a pro version of this tutorial as well. It's, it's very identical, but uh, I, I ramble on a little bit differently about things, but they're, they're covering the same concepts. So, I think we did it. I think that makes it definitely a, a much, much more acceptable audio. Now, a good trick, something I'm probably going to do, is put some background music really kind of quietly underneath it. It blends with the background noise and it really helps make your audio sound more professional because as long as you can still clearly hear your voice in the right range and the music stays down here, the music hides the ground floor and it makes it sound like only your audio and the music is there. The ground floor is really just hidden. So that's another tip to get rid of background, music, uh, background noise. There is uh, more advanced things you can do obviously, but this is a great starting point and this will get you... Uh, this will get you so close, so much closer to where you need to be. I know a lot of uh, low quality mics and a lot of first time video people end up with audio problems. So I'm really hoping this helps some people out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Like if this video helped you out. Comment below if you have uh, more ideas for me, more things you want to learn. I'm going to start trying to do some cool things as well like background replacement and uh, camera tricks and uh, also just some general production tutorials. I got Udemy tutorials I'm in the works on already. Udemy is going to be a big project, but I'm, I'm working on it. So uh, excited about that. Udemy is going to cover more about like how to, how to do general editing philosophy, like what makes a good edit versus a bad edit, how to edit, how to organize your stuff. And I'm going to be doing that in Movie Studios or Vegas Pro, uh, really interchangeable for the Udemy stuff. So that's... Uh, that's uh, been how to fix uh, your high background noise in 
uh, Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I'll see you next time.